Hey friends, it's Jack here from DesignMoto. In this video, we'll teach you how to create a status page for your website so you can keep your users updated on the project's health. We'll use the Pulsetic.com service in this video because we have some past data and they have the most generous free plan available on the market. Log into your account. We've already added a few projects. We'll choose the DesignMoto status page from the option because it has the most detailed status page at the moment. A status page's general settings section offers some basic information about the page as well as a few configuration options. Your custom domain name or subdomain name, custom title, and other important page options can all be found here. Here's how we left our settings. You can change them to suit your needs. You can see all of your websites here and add more to your status page. For example, we've added four monitors to our status page. The Incident tab is the next tab option on the status page. Here you can create incidents with your website and alert users about them. If your subscribers subscribe to the status page updates, these updates will be delivered to their emails. Let's look at some of our previous incidents. As you can see, you may add four distinct message statuses. Here's an example of a previous outage service with numerous updates as we keep our clients informed about what we're doing and how we're resolving issues. You can change the color of these status messages in the Customization tab. The Customization tab is the next step. You can customize the status page here to match your brand colors, logo, fonts, and other elements. There are numerous ways to modify the page without using code. For example, we'll now add a logo to our status page. As you can see, we don't have one. Let's add one. Preview the page and you'll see the logo is there. The next step is to add a header image. Select the header and click the preview button. There it is. We can change the colors, for example. Here we'll change the status icons to green to see the difference more clearly. Done. The green colors are now present. As you can see, we have the ability to modify the font, weight, and color of various areas of our page. Let's switch the color here on the state's color to green again to notice the difference. And here's the green. Based on our brand book, we'll restore the color back. State styles can also be modified. For example, let's change the style to rectangular, preview the changes, and see what happens. Here are the changes. Let's have a look at our personalized status page once again. As you can see, it's extremely customized thanks to Pulsetic.com's no-code capabilities. The status page also provides information by region. Simply select the state symbol to see all of the regions for which the website is monitored. As previously stated, your subscribers can receive incident alerts. The subscribe form is positioned in the top right corner and is open to anyone who wishes to be updated. That's it. Now you know how to add a status page to your website and provide your visitors and clients with a transparent website and business. Thanks again for watching this video. I've been Jack from DesignMoto. Over and out.